In this uh, segment, we'll talk about RBCs. That is red blood corpuscles. These red blood corpuscles or RBCs are also known as erythrocytes. The shape of RBCs is different in other vertebrates and uh, mammals. In other vertebrates like uh, amphibians, reptiles and birds, these are spherical and nucleated. Whereas in case of mammals, these are enucleated at maturity. And this is important to write because when the RBCs are young, immature, they have nucleus as well as other organelle. But as they mature, they lose nucleus and other organelle and that's when they become enucleated. So RBCs are enucleated when they are mature. There are two exceptions. That is camels and llamas. These are two mammals which present, which have nucleated RBC. They have nucleated RBC. So uh, except these two, all other mammals, they have enucleated RBC at maturity. But that means when the RBCs are matured, that time they lose nucleus and all other organelles. The lifespan of RBC is 120 days. Now, let us see the size, number, and then we will come to the place where they are produced. Size. Diameter is about 7 to 8 microns. So, if we draw the structure of RBC, it is biconcave, disc-like shape is disc-like, biconcave. And this biconcave nature or shape is because in the center there is no nucleus. If there was a nucleus, there would have been a bulge. So when we talk of the size, this is the diameter and that is 7 to 8 microns. Thickness is different in different regions. In the central part, it is only 1 micron thick and towards the periphery, which is wider, it is 2 microns thick. So size, diameter is 7 to is 7 to 8 microns and thickness is 1 to 2 microns and why we are writing 1 to 2 because in the middle part it is 1 micron and around the or near the peripheral part which is slightly swollen is 2 microns so that is the size and the shape now let us come to the number number of rbc's is different in males and females. But amongst all three uh, cells which are present in plasma, that is RBCs, WBCs and platelets, RBCs are the most numerous. So here we need to write that they are most numerous of all formed elements. That means maximum amongst all three. And the number is 4.5 to 5 million per cubic millimeter. So when we take a smear and we spread that blood and we take the complete uh, uh, area as uh, million millimeter, cubic millimeter, then the number is 4.5 to 5 million. This is in females. And this number, approximate number is in 
males. And that's what we were talking about, that the number of RBCs is different in males and females. RBC, okay, this number is known as RBC count. So the normal number that we take is this and counting RBC or the number of RBCs which are present is called RBC count. This number increases. So RBC count increases in two conditions normally. What are those conditions? <coughs> it can be or it increases during regular exercise. Regular exercises. And if a person is at a higher altitude, at higher altitude. Now the reason why this RBC count increases in these two conditions is to supply that increased oxygen demand during exercise and to take more and more oxygen as the person is at a higher altitude where oxygen concentration is less. So to take more oxygen it would require more RBC number because it is hemoglobin which is going to bind with it. So if a person is exercising on a regular basis, his or her RBC count is going to be more as compared to the normal to fulfill that oxygen demand. And if a person is at a higher altitude, that means if the person is living there, or if we decide to go and stay there, then over a period of time, our RBC count is also going to increase because at higher altitude, oxygen concentration is less and we, our requirement is same. So how do we take more and more oxygen? Is by increasing hemoglobin content. And hemoglobin is present in RBC. So RBC count increases. Now let us give two terms. How does this RBC count increase? It is done with the help of erythropoietin. It is a chemical released from kidneys erythropoietin from kidneys. It helps or stimulates red bone marrow to form more RBCs. So erythropoietin is the chemical which is going to trigger formation of RBC and formation of RBC is known as erythropoiesis. So let us write down this word here. This is erythropoietin, the chemical coming from kidney and erythropoiesis. Is the process of RBC formation. So this is RBC formation which is known as erythropoiesis. If RBC count increases abnormally, increase in RBC count and this is abnormal. Here it was requirement based and here it could be because of any kind of uh, uh, reason, chemicals or radiations. RBC count increases abnormally then the condition is known as polycythemia. Polycythemia is the condition when RBC count increases and if RBC count decreases fall in RBC count and this could be because of hemorrhages, blood loss, due to surgery, during accidents or there could be other factors also like some nutritional deficiencies that would result in lowering of RBC count and that condition is known as erythrocytopenia. So these are certain terms which are associated with RBCs. Erythropoietin is the substance of the chemical which helps in formation of RBC in the red bone marrow. Formation of RBC is known as erythropoiesis. 
more than normal RBC count, polycythemia, less than normal is erythrocytopenia. The organs which help in RBC formation, they are known as erythropoietic organs. Erythropoietic organs. In case of human beings, we are talking of the red bone marrow is the erythropoietic organ. So, red bone marrow. And this is after birth. In fetal life, it is the liver which is erythropoietic. In fetal state. So after birth, that function is taken over by the liver. Now, these are some basic things about RBCs. We have few more points which we will take up now.